The United States responded to North Korea's first show of interest in dialogue since the latest U.N. Security Council resolution took effect. A senior U.S. diplomat says Washington is open to talks, but only under certain circumstances. Kwan Sawa has this report. The U.S. is open to talks with North Korea. According to several U.S. officials responding to Pyongyang's recent remarks, suggesting it wants dialogue with Washington. U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asian and Pacific Affairs Daniel Russell says the U.S. has not given up on diplomacy with Pyongyang, but Washington aims to make the regime's leadership realize that there is no possible alternative to credible negotiations on the nuclear issue. According to the senior U.S. diplomat, North Korea should take meaningful steps, namely freeze all of its nuclear activities and make a credible declaration of its past activities. He also suggested Pyongyang follow Iran's path and allow inspections of its nuclear test sites by the International Atomic Energy Agency. Now, despite these conditions, questions here in Seoul are arising about the prospects for U.S.-North Korea peace talks alongside efforts on denuclearization. Seoul's foreign ministry said Tuesday Washington is on the same page. It's not that South Korea and the U.S. have different stances. The door is always open for talks with North Korea. But what's important is that the dialogue has to be sincere. And for that to happen right now, we have to change Pyongyang by putting pressure on it. The remarks echo a statement Russell made Monday when he reiterated the U.S. commitment to fully implementing the latest U.N. sanctions, saying the measures were not created to destroy North Korea, but to bring North Korea's leaders, quote, to their senses. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.